Hey guys, it's your girl Marielle. Welcome back to my channel, Friday Night Light Movie Reviews. So, you guessed it, today we're going to be talking about Hulu and ABC's original series called Queens. So I definitely had to bring out the New York hat since all the girls are from Queens, different parts. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment. Please share this video. Let's get this channel where it needs to be. And as always, don't forget to hit me up on my other digital platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I am on TikTok. So those links will be put down in the description bar below. So let's just jump right into this review. So let's just talk about the plot just for anybody who is new here. The show is about four women in their 40s who reunited who reunited for a chance to recapture that fame that they had back in the early 90s to see if they still got it and also escape living in the past from all the destruction that happened to the group while they split up. So the show is starring Brandy, Eve, Notori Nutton, and Nadine Velasquez. There are other characters, but there's too many. So let's let's just jump i'm gonna talk about the things i like the things i don't like things that i'm kind of expecting and excited to see and if you guys should still keep giving this series a watch so let's kind of like backtrack a little bit so from the last the first episode where it ended we see them the nasty bitches standing there with muffin looking at the billboard so with the beginning of the second episode we hear heavy breathing of some guy that looks like they stalking. Um, the guy gets out, something starts to happen, and then it goes all the way back to the past, right? From when that huge blowout went out between um, Naomi and Valeria. So in this episode, we get to see more of what happened in that infamous time in San Diego. What I really like about this series so far, like I said in the first one, everybody's character is getting their their own shine. Like nobody is over anybody. Nobody is pushed to the forefront. Like we kind of do see sometimes when we see series or movies based on things like this. So I, I'm really liking that. Um, we learn that Valeria is still the same type of person. She's still out for self. So we're gonna definitely see what happens hopefully not another blowout but if people you know come with the wrong intentions a blowout is about uh, bound to happen um so jill is still struggling with her recent coming out as being gay um, i'm trying not to give any spoilers away because this episode had a lot of meat and a lot of things to chew on and if you haven't watched it yet i don't want to spoil anything for you but since we know in the first episode, Jill did come out, she's still really struggling with that, but still being with her, her girlfriend, Tina. Uh, we also get to see that Naomi is being presented with an opportunity that may or may not separate her from the nasty bitches right when they're trying to do a comeback. Um, so we also get introduced to Cameron's character in this this episode. So I can't wait to see for, you know, that character developed because Cameron is low key funny and him being paid in full. Like, so I know he he got the chops to to really bring his character to life. Um, I really do love how each character is is so individualized, but they're all the same because you know, them both, all, all four of them being from Queens. What was really um, interesting to learn that it just started off with the three of them and Valeria came later. So when you watch this episode, definitely come back and talk to me in the comments because I thought those scenes were very interesting. Um, also, I really do have to say like, I'm working on it. I could be very petty sometimes, but with Naomi being the things that are being presented to her, I don't know if I can make the decision of going for self or, you know, trying to be that bigger person. You know what I mean? I really do like the way that there are, that they are, um, building the relationship with Naomi and her daughter where it didn't go just from sour to sweet because we know that's just an unrealistic thing I do like the development of their relationship 
I love how they're talking about real shit when it comes to artists. I mean, whether you're fresh in this game or you are OG in the game, it's still a huge struggle. There's still so many things that they deal with, whether their their personal individual self is being muted because they want to push this other type of narrative, this other type of character that they have to play. We definitely see that a lot with Muffin's character. Her name is Lauren in the show, but her stage name is Muffin. Um, I almost shed a serious thug tear. There's a scene with Muffin and Jill where they kind of kind of get at each other, but then when they walk away, they realize, you know, okay, this is my shit. This is your shit, you know, so trying to be the bigger person and the scene was seriously deep because it's I can't even imagine now living in your truth as far as Jill goes when you've been in the dark for so long. I can't imagine the fear that comes with living in your own truth. And when it comes to Muffin, you know, there's a part where she was like, you just got to know who you are. And she was like, I haven't known who I was since I was 15. Like, can I mean, I low key know how that feels, but not as an artist, not for me being in a front of thousands of people every night to perform. I can't even imagine where she would start to try to find herself and still keep this character, this persona that she's portraying to her fans. So I really do like how they touch on that in this episode. Um, also, there's a scene with Eve and her husband and he definitely just does not remember cheating on her. And she's like saying, is this, she's, you know, battling, is this God's way of giving us a fresh start? Or is this this way this man gets to get a free pass for cheating because his brain tumor, he doesn't remember because it affects your short-term memory. So I just really like how each character is being developed. I love the introduction to Cameron. It was done perfectly with him. Um, when they were going back and this episode really does the past, the future, the past, the present, the past and present. And it's not annoying and it's not boring. It's just the right amount. It's done so perfectly. And Cameron's character was introduced by going back into the past where he performed with them. Also, I'm waiting to see what this um, relationship develops with the dude Eric who kind of played himself by you know double dipping and to see if she can trust him if he can change if he because he said he changed just I can't wait to see all the different developments of each character because like I said um they're done so individualized but together at the same time it's so super dope I do want to you know I had one question like they can be nasty bitches. They can be queens. I'm just really curious why they chose to make every single character from Queens. Like, don't get me wrong. South Jamaica Queens all day. But, you know, just curious for everybody to rep their own hood. You know what I mean? But other than that, I think this show is going in the right direction. I can't wait again to see the development of each character with Naomi, with her daughter, with Cam, with her trying to tell her daughter who her father is. Is Jill's husband low-key sick? psycho because the way he was looking when he bounced seriously sus and he did leave us on this cliffhanger from the very top of the episode and they don't even go back into it so i can't wait to see what happens next so we are at the end of this video guys if you have hulu definitely check it out if you have cable which again i don't know how too many people do it comes on tuesdays at 10 definitely check this out as always be safe, be courageous. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.